Welcome everybody. My clock says eight o'clock Eastern time. My name is Brittany Tony. I am a speech language pathologist and assistive technology consultant for Saltillo. And welcome to your stepping stones to AAC, AAC camp out. We'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is our stepping stones to AAC classroom. Um, I put the bit.ly up in the chat, but we have to update that actually. So um, just hold tight, but I'll give you the bit.ly um, here again, if you just want. Um, we will update this with the new icons and everything, but this is what it looks like. So you can actually click on these icons and it'll take you to trainings that we have previously done. So as you can see, there's quite a few on the shelves there. Um, all have to do with daily activities, daily routines, um, just some fun seasonal activities as well. Um, I know tonight we're talking about camping. Um, we will also next month be talking about harvest, fall harvest and, and things like that. So um, go ahead and we did one on Halloween so um, last year. So you can click on that little Halloween trick or treat bucket if you want some ideas for Halloween, and it'll take you to that training along with the materials. So you can also click on different items throughout this classroom. So I am I am the Bitmoji on the left with the short brown hair, that's me. Um, and I am pointing to a low tech board that'll take you to not only the low tech board that we use for this training, but also a few more. Heather is the Betmoji on the right, and she is pointing to a Go symbol that'll take you to some different core words um, that you can download and use for these different activities. Um, and as I mentioned, I'm Brittany Tony, and I support Saltillo products in Southwest Ohio, Indiana, and Northern Kentucky. And I'll let Heather introduce herself. Hello, everyone. As Brittany said, I'm Heather Prenovo. I am a ASHA certified SLP, and I am the Saltillo consultant for Minnesota and Wisconsin. Yes. All right. Okay, so Heather is going to release a poll. We just want to know who you are. So if you could just let us know who you are. Are you a parent? Are you an SLP teacher? Um, if you click other, um, you can let us know if you're an OTPT or AT specialist. Just kind of like to know so we can answer questions appropriately. I'll give you guys a few more seconds here. It looks like most have clicked on their role. All right, so tonight it looks like about 88% are SLPs or SLPAs and about 13% are family or parents. So welcome. Yes, welcome. And I'm going to apologize. <laughs> I have a tip on my throat for some reason. So I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, yes, welcome. Thanks so much for joining us. I hope that you all get some good ideas from, from this training tonight for using with camping. <laughs> All right, so AAC is a journey. Um, just remember that it's not, an AAC is not our end goal. It's, it's what we use to, or what our students and our kiddos use to, to communicate. So AAC is not the goal, but communication is the goal. So just remember that, and it's a journey. We have to take small steps to get to that end goal. And we hope you learn some things to help you step towards that goal this evening. So one of the handouts that are in the materials tab is the um, organizational tool. And so this um, we're going to go through tonight and Brittany's going to actually type on the screen and we'll fill it out together. Um, but you can use the blank one, share it with staff and parents um, as you go through it. But it's just a way to help plan out your interactions with AAC, uh, what words to target, what we can say and how we can model for our AAC users. Yes. 
sorry. That's all right. And then one of the, the second uh, handout in the materials is going to be the reference tool. And this is just a nice reference for afterwards. So we walk through all these steps together tonight. And if you're like me, you go to a training and you're like, oh, this is awesome. But I don't remember. What do I do here? What do I do there? So we thought it would be helpful to be able to refer back to this. Or if you are handing it out to other staff or to families, um, they can kind of read through it, too. Um, and see how they fill it out and how they plan together. Yes, and Veronica asked a great question. So these trainings are recorded, so you can refer back to them and give them, you know, refer families to the trainings. And as you saw, there's a lot that we've already done, and those trainings are all recorded. So yes, refer back to them as many times as you want and check out the ones that you haven't seen. They all, that they all kind of follow the same framework, um, but just the activities, the core words that we talk about are different, so. And I will post the link to our website as well. So if the bit.ly has not been updated for those new ones this fall, um, you can also access them from our website um, under recorded webinars and parenting caregiver classes. Yes, thank you. Okay, so let's start with camping. So why camping? Camping is fun. Also, I spent the weekend camping actually. Um, so we just thought it would be a fun idea. We haven't done camping before. We also have some some resources for you that are in our 2021 Saltillo calendar. We just kind of wanted to expand on camping a little bit. And fall is a favorite time to camp for a lot of people. I know some people camp in the summer, but honestly, I don't know about you, but I always get hot in a tent. If I'm tent camping, if we're specifically talking about tent camping, I have a lot of friends that do RV camping in the summer, but um, if we're talking about tent camping, summer is really hot to tent camp. So <laughs> I like to camp in the fall. <laughs> um, but it's a little bit cooler and you don't get as hot in your tent. Um, and really, you can camp anywhere. It doesn't have to be, you know, at a campground. It doesn't have to be outside. You can camp inside your house. You can camp in your backyard. Um, I know that some schools... I know that my kiddo's school sometimes has like a fun camp week and they make shift um, a little play fire and a, a tent inside. Um, so it's just kind of fun um, and camping is fun. And there's lots of core words that you can use during camping. So that's kind of why we chose it for this evening's topic. The third handout in the materials tab is going to be a copy of our um, low tech core board and it's based off of word power 60 basic with a few extra words like question words, feelings, some of those um, please and thank yous, that sort of thing, and a few more action verbs in the center there. Um, but so you can follow along with this. It's great to help plan out what words you want to target since the majority of the words on this are core words. So if you aren't familiar with core words, you can kind of look at this and be like, hey, <laughs> I could target this word. Plus, um, being that with it being in WordPower 60 Basic on the device, a lot of these are going to be on that home page and you don't have to think about what page you're going to because they'll be on that home page. Um, so again, start simple and get a feel for it. Yeah. Okay. So typically, well, I wouldn't say typically, sometimes we, we mix it up with these trainings. So um, sometimes we will record ourselves just because COVID really hasn't allowed, hasn't allowed us to be with AAC users out on the field as much. Um, so sometimes we'll record ourselves or I'll sometimes record me with my kiddos using a device and kind of simulating an activity. Um, this sometimes we'll use pictures. So this time I decided to just use pictures from my camping trip. Yes, these are real life pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Um, took um, from this this past weekend um, and so I thought we could just talk about them so I have two pictures to share and as I'm talking I want you to use your low-tech board or your kiddos device or whatever that you whatever you have 
um, to think about what words I'm talking about when we're talking about these pictures. And it can be interactive too. So if you think of some things as I'm asking questions and I'm talking, I want you to type it in the chat window too. So with this picture, <clears throat> it shows a lot of different tents and trees. So when we're going camping, sorry, my voice is like giving out on me. <clears throat> what do you see? What do you see when we're camping? I see lots of tents. I see trees. Oh, trees. What should we do in the trees? Should we go for a walk in the trees? Go for a hike? I like hikes. Hmm, if we want to sleep tonight, what do we need to make? What do we need to make if we want to sleep? We need to make a tent, right? We need to make a tent if we want to sleep. Should we make a big tent or a little tent? Let's make a big tent so we can all sleep in the tent. Make a tent. All right, I'm gonna go to the next picture. Feel free to chime in, guys. <laughs> All right, what do you see now? What else should we make? It's nighttime. It's cold. Perfect, Mary, yeah, let's make a fire. Let's make a fire. Let's make s'mores. Yes, love it, Jillian. You can't have camping without s'mores. Yes. Let's make a pizza pocket. Love it, Heather. <laughs> Let's make dinner. Yeah. What should we make for dinner on the fire? What should we make? Hot dogs? Mmm. Hot dogs are good. I made a burrito on the fire. Hamburgers, mm. yum, yeah, make a fire. Don't touch, it's hot. All right, so let's go to our next, good job, thanks for participating. I'm gonna ask for your participation again as I type in some core words. So if we're, the first thing that we're gonna do on our planning form is choose some core words. Now, you can choose these core words before you um, choose the activity or, or once you choose the activity, you can think of some core words to go with that activity. So what core words did you hear me using as we were talking about the pictures? Cozy, make like, good job, Nikki. <laughs> You're on it. See, good. Do, yeah. Eat, yeah, that's a good one. What else? Anything else? Get, oh yeah. So, yeah, you have to get firewood, right? To build a fire, yeah. Awesome. Now, there's no right or wrong answer there. So those are all core words and those are all great examples. I think I also use the word walk, which is on the low tech board. Um, so that was just in place of height. So we can talk about that. Okay, so next, after we choose our core words, which you guys did amazingly at, um, we wanted to, to think of some open-ended questions that so that we can encourage communication from our AAC learner. So an open-ended question, if you are not familiar, is a question that cannot be answered with just a yes or no response. So if we ask a question that's just yes or no, they can only respond with yes and no, versus if we ask an open-ended question, the opportunities to communicate just exponentially increase. So which of the following is an 
open-ended question. Oh, I did this wrong. Sorry. <laughs> That's <laughs> oh. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. Okay. All right, Nikki. Good job. I got a little clip click happy. Okay, yes. What should we make? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Question. Um questions like what, how, when. Those are all great open-ended question starters. Um, so if I ask what should we make, we can say fire, tent, s'mores. If I say, should we make a tent? They can say yes or no. And chances are they'll probably say no, because no, they don't want to make it. It's hard. <laughs> no, you make it. Yeah. Yeah, right. You make a tent. That's right. Okay. So yeah. Okay, so I chose for this specific activity to use the words make, see, and walk. The reason I chose the word walk, a couple reasons. So I think it's an underutilized word sometimes um, from our low tech board, but I also used walk to replace the word hike. Because when you go camping, a lot of the times you do hike, but that's kind of a abstract concept for some of our younger learners, um, but they would understand the word walk. So when you're thinking about maybe some words that are a little bit beyond where your learner might be, this is where maybe you can replace it with a word that's a little bit easier for them to understand. So um, walk versus hike. So, okay, so let's think of some questions for each of these words. Open-ended, um, open-ended questions for me. What do you want to eat? And we could say, and that was another thing. It doesn't have to have make in the question. It could be make is going to yep. be in the response. So could, what did you see? Mm -hmm. What should? What should we make with wood? Good. Yeah, where good. do we want? Where can we put the tent? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. What should we do first? Ooh, I like that too. Yeah, those are all great. What is your favorite thing about camping? Yeah. You guys are great. Okay, so where should we walk to? Oh, you're on it. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's move. Yeah, let's move on to that. Where should we walk to? I like, I saw somebody up here. Um, what do you see or something like that? Yep, what did you see? Okay, good job. Um, what are some other ones? You guys pretty much got it. Those are a lot of good and we could repeat, you know, things too. Or what did yeah, you, see? what did they make with wood? And you can say, I see. Yeah, good. Okay, perfect. Okay, so the next step is thinking of some comments to model. If your AAC learner is not yet responding to open-ended questions or Maybe they're only responding with maybe a one word. We want to think of some comments so we can kind of expand that utterance to three, maybe four words, depending on how many words they're currently using. So we can model comments and writing down a couple comments that you can model for your AAC learner um, that they could say in response to your question or um, again, as Heather said, you, you don't have to use the word, the target word in the question. You might entice them to use that word. Like somebody said, what do you want to eat? Well, then we can entice them to say, make burrito or make hot dog. So something like that. Um, you want to make sure that you keep your modeling at or just above their language level. And what I mean by that is no more than two to three words beyond how many words they're currently saying. So if you, your AAC learner is only saying one word um, for most of their utterances, you want to keep it around three, three to four words and not model too much because that can be overwhelming for them. Just like think of your verbal kiddos. If I were to talk like I am talking to you to a baby, they probably wouldn't understand what I'm talking about because it's too many words. <laughs> so if you're thinking about how many words your AAC learner is using, 
kind of keeping it at just a, no more than two to three words beyond that. So, okay. So with that said, let's think of some comments. There's some comments from me. Put tent here. Yeah, where should we put the tent or where should we make the tent? Put tent mm -hmm. here. Make or put can be interchanged, I like it. I liked your make burrito. Mm -hmm. Make a fire. Yeah, make fire, good. Make a fire, model some articles, love it. You make fire because it's hot and I'm a kid. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about C? Some comments for C. I see fire, I see tents. Mm -hmm. We see people. Yeah. Maybe we I see, see bears. Trees or I see yellow tree. Ooh, I see. I heard coyotes this weekend. Ooh. Yeah. Hopefully you just heard them and didn't see them. Yeah, they were a little close, I think, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about walk? I walk. Let's walk. Walk to lake. Ooh, I like that one. Love it. There was a lake in that picture. Walk, walk. by tree. Mm -hmm. We could walk in the trees. Yeah. Walk Lots downhill. Walk down, walk up. Yeah. I was going to say, it reminds me of our uh, fall walk last year where everyone said it looked like I was trying to teach my dog AAC. Yes. <laughs> Let's walk down the path. <laughs> walk slow. Walk slow. Yeah. Yes, I love it. Yeah, using those adjectives. Yes. Okay. So the last step um, is to kind of put everything together. And what we want to do is think of some two or three word models, questions and comments combined and kind of think of how we will model. So that's the third step there on that planning sheet. Um, forgot to copy over my four words, but you get the idea. Um, so we can just kind of put everything together, make s'mores, you make fire, it hot, make a big tent, make a small tent. I see trees, you see pond, you like walk, walk fast, walk slow. So we're kind of putting all of that together, um, our comments and questions, so we can think about how we can start modeling on our device. And then um, we, we also, it's a good idea to find the words before you start modeling if you have a specific activity in mind, um, especially if you're targeting specific core words. That way you kind of know where they are on your child's device or low tech board or whatever it is they're, they're using. Um, I will tell you that I still can't find words easily. So <laughs> <laughs> I always still find that I'm like looking like, I know where that is, where is it? I struggle um, with the word more on our low tech board and I know where it is and I still yes. I don't know why. Yeah. So, um, so there's see, look, um, make, and then walk. You can even, if you are using a low tech board, you can use, I like to use a post-it note, cut out a square in the middle and kind of put it over that word and move it around. Um, you can also use a dry erase marker um, since the low tech, if you're laminating the low tech board, that's a good way to do it too. Just so you and the AEC learner can remember where some of those target words are. So just some ideas. And I always oh. remind people too at this early stage, get comfortable with maybe just touching the one word. So still say your whole question, still say your whole comment, but focus on hitting that word, touching that word on the device or the board, um, that's highlighted. Start simple. And once you get really good with that and feel comfortable with it, then maybe add I make or we make. Um, 
instead of stressing yourself out trying to find all the words. So don't expect or don't think you have to hit every single word on the device to make the whole sentence or the whole question. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay, so we're going to practice and I'm going to pull up my, so just have these pictures in your brain. Um, I'm going to pull up my doc cam and I'm going to model in real time because I did not video this prior to this. I thought it would be fun um, also to ask how you want me to model. Do you want me to, I have three options. <laughs> so I can model on our low tech board that we have provided to you in the materials. I can model on a flip book. It's based off of Word Power 60 Basic, or I can model on an actual device. So vote. Pick now. your Anne Marie says device. 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 Device says Mary. Okay. Going once, going twice. Device it is. <laughs> All right. Any specific vocabulary? Let's stick with word power. Are you going to see the word make? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So let's see if I can pull this up. You guys tell me. Can you see that? Yep. Okay? That's a, Perfect. It's a little bit off. So let me fix that really quick. And again, just remember those pictures in there. Yes, word power is the name of the, are you asking what that is? Um, word power is the specific vocabulary or language system that is on um, Saltillo devices. So you can get it on touch chat. So touch chat with word power has word power um, as the name intends. Um, but then also this is a my Nova chat device. Um, and this is word power 60. So not 60 basic, but I decided to change it up. We're just going to do 60. Um, so yes, that's what word power is. Um, okay. So if we're thinking about those pictures and a picture of tent and fire, so I can say, I, I, and again, see, look, I'm, I look, I look, I, and we can go to our actions. I see that fire. The fire is hot. The fire is hot. What? Oops, sorry. Yeah. What should we make? What should we make? What should we make to eat? Eek. Oh, sorry. <laughs> should we eat a snack over the fire? Should we eat a snack? I want to go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. You, you go yeah. for a walk. For a walk with me? What do you? And then we'll go back to our actions. See. What do you see on the walk? Okay, so you get the idea, but that's how I would model that on the device. So after, I'm going to share some resources with you too in a minute, but after trying this or looking at how I modeled, do you have questions still? Uh, Mary asked, what do you do if your student tries keeping you from modeling on yeah. their device? Good question. Oh, oh yeah, Mary, I've had that. <laughs> if you can use the low tech option, that's great. Um, if you have access to an iPad with touch chat um, that you could model on a similar vocabulary file, you know, that's good too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Any of those ideas um, 
I even had a student, we had to actually introduce that. I worked at an ABA facility, but to actually introduce that as a program because <laughs> he wouldn't yeah. even let me make just do it. It was so, oh. yeah, yeah. It was like had to have him work on tolerating other people touching it. But, but yeah, low tech boards, or if you have another device, something like that is a, is a, is a great option. So if you have chat editor for a PC computer or laptop, you could also just print that home page or print a specific page. Um, so if you were focusing on some of those action words, maybe you print out that first action word page. Or you can yeah. create some pathways with chat editor. Check out our recorded webinar on make and take for chat editor. Yes. Um, I wanted to share, and we'll, we'll keep answering questions. And if you mm -hmm. have to go, that time, this is recorded. but. Um, I wanted to make sure that we shared this resource with you guys. Um, so this is from our 2021 calendar and all of the supports and the calendar are online and I'll show you where that is in a minute on our website. But this is Camp Saltillo and one of our tips people, our training and implementation specialists created this interactive camp campground. <laughs> which is really cool. And if you click on it, it'll take you to interactive, like the fire is like an eight hour fire and it just pulls up on YouTube. The, um, it's really cool. Um, you can go, um, there's like just a bunch of different things that you can do. Um, it's really neat. I think the hiking trail is just woods and it's like soothing sounds. It's really neat. So all of those little different places on the the um, campsite that you see there go to different things and different activities. So let me pull up and show you where that is on our website. So um, so if I go to saltillo.com implementation chat corner and word power supports. And then you'll see here 2021 calendar supports. Um, here's the Camp Saltillo. If you scroll down, that's what I just showed you. Um, but the specific month that this is related to is June. So I think it's like Frog Goes to Camp or something. Yep. Um, yeah. So then it'll give you more extension activities and ways that you can talk about these different things. Um, and this was June, obviously, so it's summer that they're talking about, but you could definitely use fall instead. So um, it was just so cool that this, oh, this yeah. So you can see as I hover over it, my cursor changes to a pointer. So it's just really fun. Oh, look, see, you're gonna canoe in Canada. Um, yeah. Ooh -hoo. I'll spare you. Sorry. I will spare you that. But anyway, it's just kind of fun. So make sure you check those out um, if you want to kind of extend and have like a camp week. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Um, so yeah, and there's a lot more on that website. There's a lot more where that came from. So check out all the stuff we have on there. But let me go back to my PowerPoint here. Here is our email and our phone numbers if you guys have more questions. Um, if you have more questions now, we'd be happy to stay on a few minutes, but um, otherwise we hope you learned something new today and can use some of these ideas and tools to take with you to use with your AAC learners that you work with. And we're so glad that you joined us and go check out the other Things that we have, and next month Heather will be talking about fall harvest. Yes, which, orchards and pumpkin patches. Yay! Lots I love of fun. It. It's my <laughs> It is fun. Thanks everyone for joining us tonight. Thanks everybody.